Good morning, afternoon, or evening, everyone. My name is Elavaris, and welcome back to the battle for Wesnoth. Specifically, the Northern Rebirth campaign, where we continue our quest to um, save our people and the dwarves from a massive host of orcs. Um, we have just rescued an elvish princess that was taken hostage by a war band of orcs, and we're hoping to make a deal with the elves that they will help us slay the orcish host if we return to them their princess. We hope that because they are honor-bound that they will um, use our great service to them and the no, the lack of loss of life they suffered during this the attack that they did not have to commence with in order to help us in our quest to relieve our people from the orcish siege. So, without further ado... Let us begin. East to Nalga. After rescuing the princess, Talon and his allies quickly withdrew into the caves. Now that we are well shot of that dungeon, do you mind telling me who you are? Sister, don't you recognize me? Gods of light, Elenia, it's you! It has been years! What in the world happened to you? We all had thought you dead. Yes. I thought you would think of that. What actually happened was that I was captured by that disgusting old bone bag of a lich. You mean Malifor? None other. I was his prisoner for many years until these brave people rescued me. It being far too dangerous to travel back to the elvish forest by myself with all these orcs about, and in consideration of the debt I owe to them, I have been with them ever since. Really? And who are these people? Here we have our leader and hero, Talon. Rolls eyes. He is the one who led his people in revolt against the orcs, armed with nothing but pitchforks. Wow. Then they scrounged up bows and cudgels from the dead orcs and marched into the caves and broke the dwarves out of their encirclement by the undead and trolls. Then Talon and his ragtag band hunted down Malifor and reduced him to dust. Now Talon is building an alliance of humans, dwarves, dead mages, and whatever critters he can find to crush the orcs. You're right, Elenia. Talon truly is a hero. Not at all, your highness. I am no more than a humble peasant trying to free my people from enslavement. And a modest one, too. <laughs> Talon, not only have you freed me and my sister from captivity, but you have defeated Malifor, who has long been a scourge to my people. By defeating him, you have aided the northern elves more than you can imagine. Ah, it was nothing, my lady. No, it was far from nothing, Talon. The northern elves will always be in your debt. Tell me, what can we do to repay you? As Elenia has said, we are currently locked in a death struggle with the orcs led by a warlord named Rakshas. You could help us most by joining us in our quest to crush this menace once and for all. That could hardly count as repayment of our debt to you, Talon. This Rakshas fellow is an enemy to every northern elf as well. Why, it can't have been more than a few months ago that the orcs attacked our forest and took me prisoner. Helping you defeat them would be serving our own interests as much as yours. My lady, we are not seeking to do business here. I do this for you, and you do this for me. No, we seek to build everlasting friendships which will forever ensure the peace and prosperity of these Northlands. Therefore, let there be no talk of debts and repayments between us. Well and nobly spoken, Talon. Very well, I shall join you in your quest to crush this orcish menace. Let griffins immediately be sent to our people. I shall use all the influence I have or can induce our father to use to raise elvish troops for the battles ahead. Uh, Erissa, there is a large elvish force moving this direction. By now they cannot be more than two days' march from here. It seems as our father sent them to either free you or bargain for your release. Why did you not speak of this before? Let us immediately send out the griffins with my personal seal, telling them that I shall be taking command of the force. Let them come straight to Nalga and meet me there. Sounds good. I, I mean, let it be so. Uh -huh. Move Talon to the signpost in the north. Well, there's got to be a secret or two down here, no? Hey, look! It's a troll! A troll? What in the world are trolls doing this close to Naga? Something is up, Lent men. Let's hurry up and get back. Intriguing. Ooh, big troll. What is he guarding? 
So nothing behind us, but something down there is a little, a little fish, I will say. So the Ancient Lich, unfortunately, is going to have a bad time. Actually, do they even have... Yeah, they only have minus 10% to impact, which is insane. That Lich is like, when they level up from, uh, like, or when you, you know, you normally have skeletons that take a huge amount of extra damage from impact. But then when they're a Lich, they suddenly take way less damage from impact. Which, I guess you could argue they're magic, but it's like, I don't know. <laughs> At least we have light here. We're not losing damage, thankfully. But. Yeah, we'll just get our healer here. Silver Sorceress might end up joining us, so we'll try and feed her some XP. I'll do like that, because he's fine getting hit. So. Oh my. That is a lot of trolls. Excellent. Alright, that'll keep him busy for a while. Wow, okay, yeah, that is a butt ton of trolls. Oh, we only have one Dwarvish Lord, too. That's a shame. Well, our mages will need to hold the line. So what can they do? Okay, you're going to be up there for more defense. Actually, let's let's rearrange this a little bit. So we're going to put you here, you up here. We're going to put our Dwarvish Lord in the middle. We'll have a healer on the Dwarvish Lord. We'll have our Liches here. So there's legitimately no way they can get around this force. And we'll have Talon here to respawn there when they die. Yeah, that should work, I think. No one coming here, eh? Yeah, well, I think you're going somewhere, buddy. I'm here to tell you, you are grossly mistaken. Well, this is working out pretty well so far. As I was saying. I want to keep on this decent terrain for us. I don't really want to push ahead that crazily at the moment. Put you there. Yep. Ah, flanking them, perhaps. like the sound of that. Like it. Now, no one can really go there, unfortunately. That's the respawn point, so we're just gonna. Yep. Definitely a bit of a slog. We have our flank around the back. I like it. And not a whole lot we can do here. It's only an 11. It's pretty nice. I kind of want to just, you know, send him in. Because it's only the throwers that are the problem. Problem is he gets 11 to 11 to 11 and he's, <laughs> and he's dead. So I'm going to have to leave him there for now. Um, that's nice.
That's awesome. I want to get her some kills, but can't just yet, I don't think. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Just need more of these rock throwers to not be alive and we'll be good here. Put Talon here, healer here, you there, Lich Buddy there. Slow and steady wins the race, you know? Oh, we spun behind them. Seems like a pretty good kill. Good. For you. Now what if we do like this mayhaps? We do like that. Yeah, I like the sound of that. And then you go up here. You let him have it and then you come over here. And then you're over here doing that. Yeah, perfect. And you're coming in the back. Doing that. Should work, I think. Exactly what we wanted. Perfect. Oh, it's so nice. Okay, let's maybe... Didn't need to use that one, to be honest, but it's okay. Even if she dies, I don't think anyone can kill her. Perfect. Very nice. Hit twice, please. Excellent. And you're in the back. Yeah, and I'll just... There we go, have some healers here. Sad. Yeah, do 18. Up to 18. Perfect. And then we'll get Talon rocking and rolling. We'll give that last bit of XP to our elf friend. And yeah, getting out of these caves. How much damage do you do? 6-3? Yeah, a little bit too much. Mm, a little bit too much. We'll just go for it. Oh, how far can she move? Not far enough, I guess. Alright, well, let's get the show on the road. Perfect. I can see the Dwarvish defenses just ahead. Let's go. Bonus gold, 130. Two per turn. Yeah. Not a lot, but that's okay. There we go. Puzzled by the presence of trolls so close to the Dwarvish defenses, the party quickly made their way back to Nalga. Upon arriving, there seemed to be something wrong. Instead of being hailed boisterously by the dwarves as they usually were, 
they were met by silent guards with downcast eyes. Fearing the worst, Talon rushed to find Hamill, who also couldn't bear to meet his eyes. Hamill, what is wrong? Why is everyone acting so strangely? We are deeply ashamed of ourselves, Talon. We have failed the trust that you gave us. What do you mean? Your gold, Talon. We have failed to protect it. My gold? Why? What happened? Start from the beginning. No sooner had you left, uh, had you left New York's once again launched a massive assault. Such a massive and fierce assault it was that we had to call upon our reserves. When that proved insufficient, we had no other choice than to call some men off the other defenses. It was a ploy. Nay sooner than we had thinned the ranks of the northern defenders, a small hardened group of trolls smashed through the defenses and made their way straight for your gold. We beat them back, but not before they made off with your entire stock. I am sorry, Talon. We did all that we could. I would we could had done more. Oh no, Rakshas will raise many troops with that gold. I well, I can it, Talon. Were you able to pursue them? Och, we tried, Talon, but the orcs still pressed on our southern defenses and other groups of trolls trying to break through everywhere. We simply had not the manpower. How long ago did the trolls make off with the gold? It couldn't have been more than a day nigh. Then we shall pursue them. Even if we don't catch them, we might be able to hit Rakshas before he has a chance to put all that gold to good use. Hamel, rally the dwarves and prepare to make an all-out offensive against the orcs. It's time to give them some of their own. We will follow the trail of the trolls. It should lead us back to Rakshas. Arissa, what news of the elves? Our griffins have reached them. They are no more than a two days march from us. Oh, wait, wrong voice. I will send another message to them asking to send out scouts to locate the trolls who took your gold. Mayhap the elves will be able to get between the trolls and their allies. So it shall be. Hamel, when I make contact with the orcs, I'll send you a message. When you get it, come at all speed. It is near time for the battle that will decide all. The axes and amers, oh, every dwarf thirst for the blood of the orcs. All right, let's move out, people. Get this show on the road. Thus, the party set off to the northern tunnels to pursue the trolls. They met but light resistance all along the trail of the trolls, which they quickly overcame. Soon, the trail began to lead east and then south. A few hours later, the party emerged from the tunnels into the dawn's early light. Stolen gold. Upon emerging from the tunnels, the party quickly found themselves surrounded. Haha, <laughs> suckers, we got you now. They walked right into our trap. And we have already sent the gold ahead to the master. Now let's m make mush out of these puny creatures. Oh no, we are surrounded. Courage shall be the harder, heart the keener, and our spirit greater as our strength lessens. Kill them all. Yeah, I like it. Resist for as long as you can or defeat the enemy leaders. How much money are we looking at here? Oh my gosh. Oof. Okay. Well, let's see how long have I been recording here? 18 minutes? Not super long. We can get something started here. So... Hmm. This is going to be a little tough. Now, these works coming along the river will be pretty good for us. What we're really going to need is we're going to need every... We're going to need friggin' every man we can get. Every dwarf. Sorry, every dwarf we can get. We have the sorceress. Good thing I got her some XP. You can go there. You can go there go there and these mages will come in handy and so will this specter honestly okay Whew. and actually probably gonna s i could send someone out 330 i could send a griffin oh 10 movement to go out and collect some of these farther villages might not be a bad idea. Okay, so we're going to need our entire troop of Dwarvish Lords. Uh, who's loyal? Dolcatus. Uh, where's Thor? We'll take Thor. Yeah, we're going to be getting pretty much every, every lord in the friggin' country we're going to grab.
Ay -ay -ay -ay, that's a lot. All level twos. Sniff, sniff. What's up, big guy? Flap, flap, flap. Hey, where is he going? Crash, man, you're gonna miss all the fun. I think he has decided that it is time for him to part ways with us. Such a fierce yet gentle creature, he will be sorely missed. Farewell, Crash. May the Lords of Light guide your path. I have a feeling he'll be back. He'll be back. Send out the Griffin. Oh, Thor can grab that one. So the trolls are going to suck on this terrain too. So we're going to need to tighten down the hatches over here. But really, our best dwarves are going to need to be marshaled on the northern front. Maybe, because they only have 50 here and the dwarves have 70. Maybe we make a stand along these mountains here. We go like mountains here, mountains here. Perhaps, because we have a lot of dwarvish lords. Yeah, I think I, we go and try and make a stand along these mountains over here. We're going to need a healer with them. So we'll send you out. Uh, yeah, like three over there. And we got a, still a ton down here. My gosh, we have so many. I did not realize we had this many. Yeah, they, no one can go along here. This is not a bad defensive position right here on this mountain. And kind of along these hills, honestly. So we'll probably make a stand here. And we're going to need some dwarves over here holding this line. Fighter 2000. We're going to have you down here. Liches. More. We're going to need one lich probably up here. And we're going to need our specter up here. We're going to send other lich down here. You need XP. So we're going to have a big force of these guys coming down here. Probably have you down here, maybe. Cameron, we already have a lich up there, so we'll have Cameron down here. Oh, I'm going to need more firepower up in the northern front, I think. Maybe. This will be really nice. So, um, yeah, we have this lich going into the mountains here, which is awesome, but I'm still not sure where I want Cameron. And let's see, Daniel. Talon over here. Daniel will move. Oh, I guess Talon can't go out all that way yet. So, whatever. I'll move him back later. It doesn't really matter. And we'll try and smash the 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 uh, southern host here, I think, is the play. We're going to try and smash the host and kill the leader here. And then we'll have these guys kind of holding the line. And we'll hold the line here. And then we're going to put a major offensive down in the south. So, these guys have a lot of smacky smacky so we're gonna need everything we can that can sustain us up here and then we're gonna do a major offensive in the south still have a decent amount of gold. Okay, you need to not do that. All right, dwarf here, dwarf here. Or honestly, what we're going to do is we're going to take advantage of her Ugh, I want to put her more in the mountains. I'm going to put her there. Then the dwarves can't really get in on the action, you know? You're going to hold that front. You're going to be here. Uh, 77 here, 71 here. And we're going to have this main host holding. We 
I'm going to kind of let them approach from down here. You over here. Can anyone get across the river? You can, so i got to be careful about capping that just yet. Can anyone get over here? No. Awesome. You're going to go get that. Who do we still have? We're going to get some Huntsman's. And we're going to get a Fugitive. Let's get, uh, which hell, 63, 69, 66. We're going to get, there we go. We're going to get Wingless. Okay. And just before I continue, I do believe, let me put this in my other monitor real quick. I do believe that we did have a request from someone to be named something. So let me go find that real quick. Any character named Racino. So we'll make you one of our loyal dwarves, I think. Where's our loyal dwarf? Stalrag, we already had one. Uh, this was Thor. Dolcatas. I'm like 99% sure that was a made up. That was not someone's name. If it was your name, I apologize and let me know. But I do not believe this is anyone. Rusino. Okay, so you're going to be there. We're going to kind of hold. We're going to centralize the southern position here. So, um... We're gonna we have the southern bulwark. Oh, what did I just click? Southern bulwark. And we're gonna have the um northwestern front. And then we're gonna have the north eastern front okay you need to get the hell back here and you can get smacked right there so i'm going to be really careful so what is your defensive positioning right now yeah not fantastic on that hut So they have only 50% there and 60% in the mountains. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a defensive position here. Going to get the Lich kind of hovering. How many dwarves do I have going this way? Not enough. So this is one more for the northeastern front. You're coming this way. You're coming this way. Mage of Light is going to attract some visitors. That'll come smack. And then we'll try and quickly dispatch of them. And hopefully it won't take too much damage. We're going to not hold that position. You're going to need to come down here. And this will be yeah our southern bulwark here. So this is going to try and self-sustain. I might need to send more reinforcements up there, but... Well, we'll have to figure that out later. Excellent. Yikes, that is a lot. The Northern Bulwark's definitely going to be overwhelmed pretty quick here. I don't think we'll be able to make any major offensives, to be honest. This is looking like a lot. Definitely any reinforcements soon, that's for sure. And hopefully that's where our, our Drake friend went.
Excellent. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we are going to need more reinforcements here. So I'm going to put wingless up here. I'm going to put you here. So if someone wants to come attack you, they can. But you can kind of fight him back. Bert, get some work done. We're going to try and attract them all. Okay, will Bert die? No, it's it's dusk. He should, well, hmm, I don't think I can do that. I think it's too risky. I want everyone to kind of crash along each position here and not let them get distracted. Yeah, you guys are here. Just don't let them approach. Sit right there. Yep, perfect. You're going to go right here. Cameron's here ready. Northeastern front. How we doing? Not too bad so far. Excellent. Lightning, always fantastic. That's fine. Get some healing down there. We have our Lich on standby. And this front's going to need the most help, so I'm going to bring Talon up here. If someone wants to come attack Talon, they can. That's okay. All right, time to hold the line. Put you there. You can take some damage if you want to. Seventy percent is really coming in handy. Thankfully, he's about to level. Please be out of money. Yep, he's out. Yep, crashing along the line. This is what we need. Now, thankfully, these dwarves are getting so much XP that they're going to level up and heal themselves. We're going to lose the mage here, but that's okay. Big level. Oh, the accuracy of these hits. Oh, <laughs> oh it's so good. They're taking so much. I forgot to move my griffin, didn't I? Well, I'm so deep in the negatives, I don't think it really matters that much. Oh, let's go. Problem is my mages are now going to die this turn. And now it's night as well. So... Perfect, get some healing up there. You're going to kill that guy. Can we get an Ancient Lich in the struggle here? I'm a little concerned about the amount of people that can hit this guy. Talon's also looking a little fragile here. It's fine. Level up there. That's big. That's fine. You can only be hit by two. That should be okay. These guys are blocking so that they can't get through here. If any of these mages die, they're going to spawn in front of Talon, which will provide a good kind of disincentive. 
You can go here, actually. Yeah. Okay, now what's happening over here? Dude, what a conflict. This is insane. Just need to hold the line as long as possible. Our problem now is they can start kind of flanking us out a bit here. Uh, I want to keep, I need to keep Talon up there. Can anyone get around? Just one person. Her defense is 60. Get the Ancient Lich here. That should draw some fire. Move this guy over. Yeah, we might get outflanked here. But hopefully not. We're doing some good job cleaning up on the northern front. The northwestern and the northeastern front. A lot of damage is being done. We just need to hold in the south. That's all we need. If we get flanked, just need to hold as long as possible. Get the griffin up here. Oh, he can die. Okay. Perfect. Good, good, good. Keep holding. Keep holding. Just hold the line, boys. Hold the line. What a bloodbath. But she's up there now. Yeah. Black team is what's going to be interesting because they're in the best position to outflank us. Oh no. Fudge. Well, we'll have to name another one, Rusino. You got completely outflanked. That's unfortunate. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, well, we got to get people down here yesterday. All right, new dwarf, Rusino. <laughs> Uh, he tried his best. He's unable to hold against the amount of orcs. Um, so you're going to be there. Just the amount of them is just insane. Oh, we're probably going to lose Fighter 2002. He's just getting smacked up. Hmm. 
Mm. All so close to leveling. Now this guy unfortunately is in a bit of trouble. We're going to put you here instead. On second thought, I probably should have just hold people up like right here. Get you shooting up here. You need to go. We need more troops down here. Yeah, you need to hit someone who's not a rock thrower. Because 23 is a devastating amount of damage that could really screw. I need to just hold, I think. So what are you doing? You just want, like, two kills, really. You just want a kill. You only need three XP, actually. People can kind of break through, but not really. Okay. Hold in the line as best we can. Yeah, I probably should have actually just formed a circle here. Instead of kind of spreading out to here, I think that was a mistake. Fortunately, too late to correct it now. I'm going to retreat Talon back to here. Because he's a little too exposed, I think. We just don't want a complete collapse of this front as well. Because they're starting to really encircle us. That's the problem, is that they're coming kind of through the middles here. And it's hard to reinforce that. Can't really do anything with you. I want to move you, but... I don't have enough healers around. Hold up. gosh I mean, it's going very well up here. Ooh, our Earthian's almost leveled. Getting close, unfortunately. Fighter 2000 is doing his best. Ugh. We might have to give this one a redo and try a different kind of southern frontal position. Oh, as so we might lose Cameron. No. Nope. 
Oh, yeah, there we go. Look who's back. And look, he brought his friends, too. Set up camp. Oh. Drake's fire. Okay, I'm, I'm skipping through this because I think I'll end up giving this another go. And instead of even trying to come out here, I think I'm just going to set up a big circle here instead and just set it close to home. I'm going to have another southern front here and then maybe a northern front here, perhaps. Because unfortunately, I'm about to lose a lot of... Um, like a lot of good units up here, I think. I think I could keep the northwestern front as it is. The northeastern front... But, like, I'm going to lose, I think, fugitives, I think, are just, they're not going to get the job done. I don't think I can do fugitives. So, um, yeah, well, I mean, overall, this wasn't too bad. Um, I'll save it here just in case, but I think what's probably going to happen is I'm going to redo it from the start. Um, this, this overall actually worked out really, really well. Uh, we just need a couple slight tweaks. I need to be careful about bringing the fugitives out. I don't, I think they're too squishy to get the job done. Um, I think the southern front pretty well, but I don't want to set up here uh, because we just get outflanked by black. I think we need to keep more of just this southern bulwark kind of like I have here. Northwestern front was pretty good. I just need to not um, pull up a fugitive. Northeastern front wasn't too bad. So uh, I think overall, I think the big change I want to make is no fugitive, and I'm going to form a big southern bulwark here and not have anyone chilling around here. So... That's the plan. So let me uh, do like turn two. No, because I don't. I also I'm not the Griffin didn't do anything. I don't need. I don't want Griffin. So I'm gonna save it here. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Bit of a longer one today, but overall, uh, good experience. Very epic scenario. I'm looking forward to continuing. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Cheers, guys.